When you handle an animal of this size, it'll hit you in a completely different way from an emotional standpoint. You feel this awness and respect for the animal, its ancientness, its wisdom, what it's done to provide for us all, a deep level of respect. This is what the body and the makeup of a fully mature female white shark looks like. Likely around a 50 year old fish, well over 3,000 pounds. She's probably had 15 reproductive cycles, which means she's had maybe up to 100 babies. And some of those babies now are, you know, old enough to be making babies and they're sexually mature. So she would be, you know, a, a proper and true matriarch of the ocean, a grandmother of sharks. scientists it adds a whole new data set because we don't have a lot of samples from animals of that size and so they can test the differences in what her blood chemistry looks like to a sub-adult white shark or even a smaller mature animal and certainly juvenile animals you can look at their organs through an ultrasound because everything is so big and clear it's different than dealing with a smaller shark You can see all these scars and blotches and colorations that are on her body. And that's really the story of her life. The story of what she's had to go through. We wanted to give her a name that reflected her ancientness and her awesomeness and her wisdom and what she will share with us and what she's doing for our future. Nagumi. Her name means grandmother from the local Mi'kmaq language here and the indigenous people of Nova Scotia. Every single one of those big ones like that, it moves you and you're changed every time. You're changed.